In my video, How to Commit Changes to a New Container Image with Docker Commit, I showed you how to take your changes to a container and commit them to a new container image. Now I'm going to show you how to push a Docker container image to a Docker Cloud repository so that anyone with access can pull it down to run. First, let's take a look at my Docker Cloud account. I have created a repository called TechSnips Test. When I click on it, you can see under Tags that the repository is empty. This is where I want to push my container image. At an administrator command prompt running PowerShell, I'm going to run docker ps-a. Here you can see my Microsoft IIS container that contains the changes I made in my how to commit changes to a new container image video. This is the container I want to push to my Docker Cloud repository. To do this, I'm going to run docker commit to create a new container image called mmcelrith slash techsnips test. mmcelrith is my docker ID. You will need to replace this with your own docker ID. Once that command completes, let's run docker images. You can see the newly created container image in the list now. Next, I'm going to run docker login to log into my docker account. Now that I'm logged in, let's go ahead and push the container image using docker push. This may take a while depending on the size of the image you are pushing. This particular image is pretty small though. Now let's go back over to my Docker Cloud repository. If I refresh the page, you can now see a new tag in the repository and it is called latest. That is because I did not specify a tag for this image. I can use tags to create and push different versions of this image. I'm going to go back to the command prompt and run another commit except this time adding a colon then version 2 at the end of the new image name. When I run docker images I now have two versions of my image, latest and version 2. Let's go ahead and push the version 2 image to my repository. Now if I go back to Docker Cloud and refresh the page, you can see both my tags in here. If I click on Tags at the top, it will bring up my list of tags with some basic information. I can also delete tags from here if I wish. Lastly, if I go back to the command prompt and run Docker Search TechSnips Test, you can see that my TechSnips Test repository shows up in the results. This is because my repository is public, so anyone can search for it and pull it down. I'm going to leave this repository active so you can pull it down and try it out. To do so, you just need to run the docker pull command. And that was how to push a docker container image to a docker cloud repository.